Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This oracle read is for Gemini, May 8th to May 15th. And I pulled cards off camera, but at the end of this, I will pull from another deck. So you guys can see how I do it because it's really cool. They just fly out. I love it. All right, let's get started here. Gemini, fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. This is, card is also depicting number nine. You may be seeing number nine a lot, 999. I'm even seeing like 349, 449, 219 something ending in the number nine also so whenever that happens pay attention to your thoughts and your emotions at that time and also google the meaning because your spirit team is trying to reach out to you man so reaping what you sow fruition and abundance you are your manifestations coming through something in the past that you spoke out to the universe or you prayed for also i feel like some of you could be having uh, an actual garden where you planted seeds, not just seeds of manifestation, but those two will bring fruition and abundance. Keep doing it though. Being out and doing gardening is very nourishing for the soul. The Will Watcher, wisdom, power of the divine. You are full of a lot of wisdom and the divine is guiding you. Do you see owl on her shoulder. Owls are usually full of very wisdom, right? But also I'm getting you just have this deep inner knowing of something. Like when ideas or something come to you out of the blue, that is the power of divine. That is your spirit team helping you. And also listen to your intuition and that gut feeling, okay? Morning, the world awaits you. This is saying, I feel like it's saying, take the world by the horns, okay? Don't fear what's outside in the world. A lot of what's going on in the world right now, you can't help and you can't stop, right? So just start living your world, man. Also, I feel like it's pointing towards a morning routine, maybe. Some of you guys maybe started exercising or doing yoga or meditation or even getting up and praying in the morning. That's a form. That's a ritual. And if you've thought about doing it or doing something of a routine of sorts, try to step out and do it. Even if it's just one or two days a week or whenever you remember to do it, it will definitely help your soul. The end the tough cycle is approaching. A lot of us are shedding old thinking patterns, old belief patterns, and there are certain areas of your life that have the same cycle that shows up, say every month or something. Also, the moon phases have a lot to do with a lot of that stuff too, your emotions and everything, not just like that monthly ant flow cycle also. But you're getting there. You're healing. It's going to happen. There's more to life than what you think. You're very close to achieving that goal. Yeah, that fruition and that abundance card coming out. Whatever you put out into the universe, th things are getting better. You're climbing that ladder and it's, it's getting better. Good positive things are coming your way. An answer to a question is yes. Also, she's balancing something there, so I feel like maybe you guys have been having a bit difficulty of balancing home life and work life, or outside relationships to your home life and family life, maybe. Better things are coming, though. Good things. Healing energy goes through you. See? A tough cycle. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. You're healing. You're healing from something. You're shedding those patterns and beliefs. That's a form of healing, okay? And trust that there is a divine plan. You are on the right path. It might not feel like it at the time, but don't forget to ask your guides and angels, ancestors, your God, your Jesus, however you roll on that front, for help and guidance and answers, okay? There's always a divine plan. We all have our life purpose, right? Let's pull some angel messages. 
put on both fingers here. I just saw 505 on my little timer over there too, so that signifies the number five is uh, signifies change. So good things, change for the better. All right, angel messages for Gemini, please. Angel messages for Gemini, thank you. Thank you. One more, thank you. All right, this one says you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. They ask you to relax and feel safe. Your family's safe. You are safe. Okay. You are the end. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. Look, I can't make this up. You guys saw me shuffle these. They just flew out, right? This is basically the whole meaning of two of these cards, right? Healing energy flows through you. The end of it cycle approaches and what did I say while I go don't forget to call on your angels and your guides and stuff to help you oh my gosh I love spirit they're really awesome okay so we're gonna get some advice from them as well for Gemini please advice from spirit for Gemini oh, oh. let's go all right we'll take those three Trust your decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. Trust your own decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. You are being divinely guided, okay? And it's okay to be your authentic self. I've got an ink mark on me right there. How did that happen? Respect yourself. You're the best judge of what's right. This is true, right? You're the best judge of what's right for you. Okay? Can't hold that shaky let go of the need to control trust in the wisdom of a divine plan see yes power of the divine you're being divinely guided asking your angels for help praying to them and look wisdom again that's on the back of let go of the need to control oh crap that inner knowing that inner knowing in the wisdom see wow guys well, this is all I have for you for Gemini, 5, 8 to 5, 15. Love and light, guys.